Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome back to Concert Genius Piano Coaching. I'm Anna Chepikova, International Certified Classical Trained Concert Pianist, Artist of Solo Piano, and Piano I love instructor. to greet so many of my new subscribers. You guys, thank you so much. It means the world. I've been receiving so many comments and so many new likes, subscriptions. Welcome to all the guests who have not subscribed yet. I highly do encourage you guys to click that subscribe button and that notification bell right next to it so you will be always informed of my every upcoming video I will be uploading and you will never miss out on any golden nuggets or golden rules or some fun material I've got prepared for you. And boy, do I ever have a topic for today's lecture, you guys. I would call it a talk. I'd love to have a chat with you guys. Uh, say talk while we're walking along the beach or taking a walk in the park. Let's chat. Today's topic is how do we respond to a criticism? Whether it's on YouTube, I'm sure a lot of you own your own YouTube channels and you do know what I'm talking about, as well as in everyday life. Do we have to respond? Do we have to not pay attention to the criticism? What do we do? How do we respond? Do we choose to respond? And if you do, how do we respond? So sit back and relax. I do encourage you to get yourself really comfortable right now because that topic is a lot of fun. And do encourage you to watch this whole video till the very end. And if you guys are ready and you are very comfortable right now, this topic is coming right up. Ready? Let's go. encourage you to remark or make comments during watching the show or after you finish watching this video because today's topic because is something this topic concerns all of us right we are living amongst lots of variety of people right we're dealing with all kinds of people's characters personalities on a daily basis no matter where we go to the grocery store at work in the family setting or amongst your friends it doesn't matter and right all of us with healthy say brain structure and neuronic system in our development in our upbringing or our own perception of life right we do realize that what we need to do mainly in our lives is to take care and take full responsibility of our own lives. Would you agree? Therefore, it's tremendously important to realize that if we are, in fact, taking responsibility, complete full responsibility over our own lives and our own attitudes, our own perception of things, our own emotions, our own reactions to things that happen to us daily, right? The more educated, the more knowledgeable and more aware we all are right up here in our brain, right? The more grown up and healthy decisions we will be making, the more we will be able to provide our own safety. Do you see that little symbol somewhere that says object under protection or protected object that's what we are striving to be to be protected from anything or anyone that can cross your path and all of a sudden make you react or make you think or that something that will get you affected and you don't know what to do about it how do we respond what to criticism? criticism? How do we handle it? How do we respond to it? Do we really have to respond to it? Or we always have an option to ignore it, to pretend we didn't hear, or to say something clever. What do we do? And how do we respond to the criticism that you comes in the comment on your YouTube channel? in the form of a comment on your Facebook page 
or a private message or a text message or someone who you're talking face to face who said something critical to you and you feel that something is not really adding up here something is feeling off for you this is the first great sign it means your body just felt that something was what off about it the one that is protected is the aware one so this video is about training the awareness of what we're hearing what we're dealing with and what kind of folk are surrounding us i'm sure you will not argue with the fact that we are surrounded by all kinds of people some of them are known for reacting in a specific way that way i call an impulsive way the instinctive way sometimes you can even say it's an animal instinct the way some people react right away immediately that very second without processing without containing the information without stopping themselves and asking what did i just hear how did it make me feel what feelings i'm experiencing in my body when i'm hearing such and such comment or such and such words that were addressed to specifically you right most of the time we are wondering why in the world are you saying this to me or what in the world is going on in your own world in your own mind or your own psyche what i call a neuronic system in your own brain that forces you or uh, gives you that need to criticize someone without getting a concept of what you're it's doing. It's going to be a concrete comment I will be reading for you that I received a couple of days ago under one of my videos and only aware folks. And I believe all of you guys who are tuning into my channel, my new subscribers, my new friends, followers, thank you so much, guys. Please do comment just during this video as I'm talking because I am about to read to you the comment that I just received a couple of days ago and I would like to analyze it step by step, second by second, word to word. My goal is in this lecture, guys, to teach you just a little bit to get you to know your psyche, your inside world a little bit better. So when you deal with criticism, no matter who it's coming from, on a social media platform, on YouTube, from your parent, from a friend, a neighbor, your boss, doesn't matter. The idea is for you to be able to learn how to test your own objective reality you're living in. I have been receiving lots of comments and um, one of them, <laughs> I am so eager and anxious to share with you guys so we can all learn from this my channel. Experience. That was a comment under one of my videos that I released a few weeks back. I do want to analyze this with you guys step by step. That way, literally, you will have the material and knowledge that you can use in real life. For yourself so this is the comment that i received a few days ago from a person who uh, left that comment under one of my videos i posted here we go well why don't i read the whole comment first and then we'll do it the analysis step by step okay ready here's the comment from one of my subscribers that starts like this it would be nice if you played all the notes instead of skipping the second or the third note of each beat. I don't know where the person was at while writing it, but I'm going to go on and continue reading that comment. Otherwise, it would be nice if you would play the gruppettos. I don't have to spend my lecture on explaining what gruppetto is. I'm very well familiar with this. If you would like a special video or separate video what gruppetto means, I'd be more than happy to do that. 
Leave it in your comments and remarks, guys. Next phrase. Listen. Stop the person talks to me. Stop doing weird faces and play it aright. Keep a steady tempo and avoid false accentuation. But overall, the video is okay. <laughs> so I'm receiving a comment from the person that I have never met, who's never met me, who doesn't know my name, who is obviously talking to me without the name, who is not greeting me by name, who doesn't say hello or hi, Anna. I've been watching your video. None of it. So number one, I think you guys need to think for yourself. Let me know in your comments. What are your first instinctive feelings about that kind of comment. The person who entered my channel doesn't know my name, talks to me facelessly. That would mean just talking like to an object, right? Starts with message with a, what they call a sandwich. Uh, would be nice, right? But, mm, but overall, okay. First of all, the person is given the advice that number one, he was never asked for. Number two, that advice that is being given has nothing to do with the actual concept of my video that he failed to watch and listen all the way through beginning to My end. channel, if you look at my playlist, I do this thing that I like to call and my subscribers and my followers really enjoy that. It's called Spot the Difference. Please do look in my playlist and see how I do that Spot the Difference and what this Spot the Difference game is about. What is this game about? I always play two options. Option one or option two or also I like to call it option A or option B. doesn't matter whichever works for you. However, what I do is play one option absolutely or wrong, right? With exaggerated mistakes, with exaggeratedly wrong pedal, say, usage, with wrong dynamics, with the uh, kind of terrible phrasing that sounds kind of weird, right? And then I do option two with the proper dynamics, with the phrasing that is proper, with a great a feeling and dynamics and expression and so on and so forth. And my choice, because it's my channel, my education, my knowledge and my intelligence, I get to choose and decide on my own how to do my music on my channel, how to teach what to teach and the way to teach it. So watch this. Ready for spot the difference game? Here we go. Two options. Option one versus option two. I'm going to use a beautiful, well-known example by Chopin. It's a nocturne. I'll give you a fragment. As usual, I'll be playing it two different ways. Option one versus option two. Wish me luck with that one. My ears, my education, and my intelligence will not allow me to continue playing it that way. So, here comes option two. Ready?
when someone is coming from the place that I can only imagine that they come from, it's not my place, certainly not. And without spending the proper and deep level of attention that all of my lectures, all of my videos do require, they do. You got to be attentive. That's why I keep saying, stop whatever you're doing. Pay attention, right? The person chose to express what he People felt. People who hardly know. had a patience and or desire to actually watch my videos beginning to end. They did fail at it. They didn't watch it beginning to end. So, therefore, they didn't comprehend the whole concept of my videos when I do option one versus option two, one good one, one not so good one, or That's the other human way around. Being. Right? That particular individual who criticizes you without knowing who you are, what you do, or the quality of your education, of bringing intelligence, of quality of your work, nothing. That person simply lives, exists on a daily basis in a permanent, constant, state of irritability, state of constant annoyance. So going back to that comment that I just read for you guys about me stopping making faces, the person is telling me to stop. I have a question. Stop making what faces? Why I have to stop? What faces do you find unpleasant? Uh, who finds those faces unpleasant? Are those faces considered unpleasant in your own world? What do you consider making faces? Or what do you consider playing it right? I didn't get any explanation or elaboration on the comment, play it right. Boy, that individual gave me a lot of phenomenal material that... Uh, inspired me to record today's lecture for you guys. Learn from it. The person tells you, play it right. Play it right. Question for you. What do you consider playing right? What is right playing? Who determines what the right playing is? What right playing is supposed to sound like? None of those answers to those questions were presented to me. I was presented with a faceless greeting, which means no greeting, no hello. However, check this out. The ending of that comment. Do you remember the ending? Let me reread it for you real quick. The comment ends with the words, but the video is overall okay. So, I just got an evaluation, or um, appraisal, I would call it evaluation, of my video that it was okay. So, I'll give you a like for your video. I'll put you down. Everything based on my neuronic system that, that is toxic, unhealthy, underdeveloped, because I don't know what I'm talking about. I have not taken my time to watch your video carefully. I didn't get nor comprehend the concept of option one and option two. I just entered your channel, heard some of few seconds of your performance and decided just to go ahead and kind of spill that poison that's been accumulating in my own neuronic system right on your page. No. On my channel, there's no impoliteness allowed. No impoliteness of any sort it will be allowed so on my channel. So what we're going to do today is take it as a positive sign. We are going to be recognizing the folk who choose to criticize you out of the blue based on no knowledge and not getting acquainted nor familiar with my material or your material that you have to offer on your YouTube channel or on your social page, your TikTok or Facebook or Twitter or Twitter or whatever you guys are into. doesn't matter. 
Our goal is to recognize the destructivity, the toxicity that has nothing to do with us. We deliver the goods. Folk is coming from the place of their own. What is happening in their psyche? That's what you should ask. What is going on in your world currently or has been going on since you were born? What was going on in your childhood, in your family setting that you have such a need to criticize someone unkindly? Criticism is awesome. But if you guys, now pay attention, if you guys look up the word criticism right now, I would do it right now. Go ahead, go on Google, pause the video. I highly encourage you to. Who gets to criticize? Question mark. If you show me the same exact diploma, diploma of your master's degree in solo piano performance with honors, then we're going to be talking as equals. See my hands are showing? Equals. Adults, we talk equally. Adults do not talk like this. Someone is an overly important object talking to someone from the above. That doesn't work in the adult world. What do you think? Do you agree with me that adults should talk on that same level? Level of equalness? Do you? So I would highly wish to see that particular individual's own diploma of master's degree with honors in piano performance prior to making those comments. Because, like I said earlier, if you look up the word criticism or critiquing in a dictionary, the word critique represents a person who has the identical level of knowledge and or the same level of diploma or education that you have, then and only then that person gets the right to talk about your quality because they have the same diploma, same expertise. See, I would never judge somebody who is a professional, say, dentist. I don't have dental degrees. Thank God I don't want one. You know what I'm saying? Criticism has to come, especially when you get criticized for specific area of work you're doing, of area of like the field you're working in, right? They have to be professional and educated in that same field in order to express any of that stuff that actually didn't have anything to do with the concept of the video I posted, anything of the idea of option one, option two. The person entered the channel, noticed the plane that was the wrong one on purpose, and chose to instinctively work on their impulses. They acted on their impulses, instincts. Sometimes they call it an animal instance when you don't take some time to contain, to absorb, to take some time to sit down and realize what's going on with me right now. What am I feeling when I hear this person talking to me this way? Instead of blabbing something right away, especially writing something black and white under someone's channel, someone's page, hello, sit down, take some time, for yourself and ask yourself a question. What is so bothersome for me about that person? Is it that person's uh, originality? Is it this person's actual professionalism that I kind of wish I had? Mm -hmm. The ability to contain, to analyze and be aware of what you're dealing with and be able to take your time to process this will make all 
the difference in the world and will give you all the answers you need as to the question of how to respond to that criticism. So it all depends on how knowledgeable, how healthy we are in our own brain and our own awareness. We are going to provide ourselves a complete safety and no one ever will be able to affect you with their comments, affect you with their criticism, and you will never have to ask yourself this question. How do I respond to this? Do I respond at all? Or I better be quiet and stay away? You will know once you are aware of what you're hearing and what you're dealing with. So it does take some sort of analysis. It's kind of fun to analyze because I am trying to teach you guys to deal with these things as well. Musicians do tend to be sensitive, right? To be good at performing, you do have to have more of a delicate and keen kind of soul and heart, right? Have you heard the expression, be more thick-skinned? Forget that! Be who you are, thin skin, thick skin, who cares? Be who you are. However, the awareness that you will be developing from this point on, just from this very video, I do hope you guys are gonna change and this video will make a difference in your life. Awareness of what we're hearing. Taking time to absorb it. Taking a few seconds to contain it inside and within yourself. Take a few seconds to realize where this person is coming from. What place in their life they're coming from. Why that folk is so irritable or aggravated before even speaking one word to you. Question mark. So I do hope to see your comments, guys. So it's going to be a fun interaction video, guys. Thank you again for watching Anna Chipekova Concert Pianist. You know, all the links are below this video, guys. As usual, 101 is very strict. I take only seriously dedicated and committed students only. So do feel free to send your inquiry via my website, AnnaChipekovaPiano.com. All the links below. More videos coming your way. Got a ton of materials that I will be uploading next. So do subscribe and like. Thank you so much, guys, in advance. Huge help, huge support, and you have been terrific. I look forward to continue our awesome relationship and see you at my next video. Have a great day, everyone, as usual, and make it a musical one.